Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer DIY upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to be working on a Toshiba Tekra A50 series business laptop computer. Uh, the exact model is an A50-E, uh, but this should apply to most of the A50 series computers. As always, guys, if you have any questions, please check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Also, if you'll notice in the video, I have my laptop sitting on an anti-static pad. Uh, either that or an anti-static bracelet is a very good idea whenever you're entering a computer to avoid damaging internal components. If you guys need help finding those or any other tools that I use in my video to enter your computers, check out this video link here to my Amazon store and I'll give you some suggestions on items that I use in my shop. In this video, I'll show you how to tear down this model computer. I'll show you how to access the RAM with that easy access panel on the bottom. I'll also show you how to safely take off the bottom case, and I'll give you a tour of what's going on inside the computer, all the components are, how to replace them if you need to. Okay, so my computer's been turned off. It's been placed on an anti-static pad, as mentioned earlier. The next thing we want to do is take out your battery. You want as little power running through the computer as possible whenever you do anything to it to also avoid damaging components. So we're going to slide both of our battery clips to the unlock position and remove the battery. The next thing we'll do is take off this panel here that will allow us access to our RAM. It's just that single screw. I'll take my plastic pry tool and pop that up, set that aside, and there's our RAM. So this is how RAM in laptop computers usually looks. You'll usually have one or two ports. On larger computers, you'll have more, but they're both designed the same way. They come with these spring-loaded metal arms on the edges of the RAM. That's what holds the RAM in place. To remove the RAM, you would push apart those metal arms, and the RAM stick would pop up like that, and then you would just slide the RAM out. You can see it has a long port and a short port, um, so you can't put it in incorrectly. You've got to line those up. To put it back in, you just slide it in, make sure it's flush, and then snap it down, and the arms would reattach. So the other screws, they're located all around here, two there, a bunch on this side, more along that hinge, one there, two there, one there, and a bunch in the middle. So there's a lot of screws in here. I'm going to go through and take those out. Now that I have all my screws out, I'm gonna take my small metal pry tool. I'm gonna to go around the edge of the bottom case and the palm rest and gently pry those up. When you're putting this pry tool in, be careful not to put it in too far. There are electrical components and wires and cables in there. Try to get it in just enough to pry the two cases apart. I had a little trouble with that screw. That screw wouldn't come out. Uh, the threading seems to be damaged in there, so I had to put my hand under it and, and push the case up as I was unscrewing it. Hopefully you guys don't have that kind of a problem. And this is the inside of your computer. Okay, so there's your solid state assembly box right there. It's plugged in by a ribbon cable that goes into your motherboard here. I'll zoom in and show you how to detach that. As you can see, there's a white port on the motherboard. The ribbon cable comes in here and there's a black clip that slides over the ribbon cable to fasten it down. It sort of slides down like this, like that. And then the ribbon cable is held under it. To release the ribbon cable, we're gonna pop the clip up and then slide the ribbon cable out. So to do that, we're gonna use our plastic pry tool. We're gonna go, and, and this is very tricky. These are very breakable. And if you break these black clips, it's almost impossible to find a replacement, in which case your ribbon cable won't be able to attach down well again. So be very careful. You do not wanna break that black clip. So I'm just gonna pop that up like that, slide the ribbon cable out, and now this frees up our solid state drive box like that. So if you were replacing your solid state drive, you'd pull this out, put your new one in, and it's as simple as that. Not a terribly complex operation. And it's not fastened down or anything in there. It's, it's, it's cushioned. You can see cushions there, cushions on the side. So it kind of squeezes in, uh, nestles in there. And then you take your ribbon cable, you would slide it back into that port. Again, be very careful not to damage the black clip. It may take a few times if you're, if you're not used to it. And then you just push that clip down to fasten that cable in. So here's your fan. It's plugged into the motherboard there. Uh, that's kind of an easy clip to do. You just put your fingernail on either side, pull that clip out. 
Your LCD cable comes down from the hinge assembly, plugs into the motherboard there. That one just pulls up from that plastic tab, you pull that up. The fan connects to the heatsink assembly that goes over the CPU. Uh, this is a non-removable CPU. This is integrated into the motherboard. You won't be able to easily remove that upgrade and replace it. So keep that in mind if you want to do any CPU stuff. However, after removing these three screws, this heat sink will come up. You will be able to fix your thermal paste if you need to redo that, um, if it starts drying out with age. Then you have your general motherboard here. You get your motherboard screws all over the place to take that up. Uh, you have your touchpad assembly here, your mouse buttons here. Uh, USB ports here that plug into the motherboard and then your DVD drive there that plugs into the motherboard here And there's your Wi-Fi card held with a single screw just like a solid-state drive After you undo that screw this pulls out of that port and the antenna wires run up through the other Hinge assembly usually the antenna wires run up through that one and the LCD run up through that one So that's a quick overview of what you got going on in this model computer so that's the video guys, thanks so much for watching, I hope it was helpful in whatever project you're at. Again, keep in mind there's FAQs below in the description, I do try to keep those updated so check it out if you have any questions. If you don't see your question and you want to leave me a question or comment, again feel free, I try to get to those as often as I can. Thanks so much for watching guys, I look forward to seeing you on my next video.